Phoenix, now the latest city setting the goal of turning water that's gone down your drain into water that will soon come back out of your tap good enough to drink. Team 12's Colleen Sakura takes a look at just how soon it could become a reality. What's gone could be coming back. It's almost half of what we would normally serve for the Colorado River. Troy Hayes is the water services director for the city of Phoenix, the latest to make a goal of treating wastewater and turn it into drinking water. Essentially what we would be doing is taking water that we would normally be discharging to the Salt River, pipe that to an advanced water treatment facility, treat that to levels you know that are comparable to bottled water and then deliver that to customers. The goal is by 2030 after starting the process this summer, possibly getting other cities involved and building a likely multi-billion dollar facility to treat it to drinking water standards. It's important because the struggles on the Colorado River will persist. This idea of being able to turn wastewater into drinking water has been done here in Scottsdale in this facility since 1998. Traditionally, what we've been doing is putting that back into our aquifer. Brian Beesmeyer is the executive director of Scottsdale Water. Right now, the city is treating 20 million gallons a day out of the facility that's safe enough to drink. It's not in taps yet, but last year was given to breweries to make beer. It tastes like water. We always have a few folks that are really hesitant, but normally at the end of the day when we introduce and we talk to them about how we treat it, all the safeguards, we win them over. As for when it could come to TAPS. We'll have this available as soon perhaps as 2025. That's dependent on state regulations that are in the works right now. We've been working for almost a year now uh, to ensure that Direct potable reuse is an option for Arizona. Trevor Bajori is the Water Quality Division Director for ADEQ. He says the final rules are expected to come next year that will make sure the water meets certain standards. That means uh, there needs to be engineering controls in the system to prevent cross-contamination. There needs to be specific standards that they constantly monitor and measure against to protect public health. There also needs to be operator regulations. Believing what is going down the drain. Technology today can treat any water to any standard. Can come back safely. Colleen Sikora, 12 News.